This is experiment 9.1 for Mrs. Ross' physical science class at the Lancaster Learning Link. This particular experiment is about the importance of direction. We're going to be using two eggs. This is our first egg here that has, I have drawn a nice little smiley face on him. And then our other egg is going to be the one that's going to get hit and he doesn't have a smiley face. So let's begin here. Part one of this experiment, you should have your lab report out right now so that you can record this information. Part one says to roll the eggs down the slide one behind the other. I have my two slides set up here. Here's my first slide over here. And then over here on this side at the same height is another slide. So we're gonna begin here by putting both of these on the slide at the same time and we'll let them go and then we'll measure how much damage was done to them. Here we go. Okay, and if we look at them, we don't see any cracks or anything at all, which is pretty much what we would expect. So, under part number one, it lists the speed and you would say that the speed of those was the same and the direction was also the same. Now, part two, we're going to set one egg down here, uh, actually right down here at the bottom. We can get him to sit still there. Yeah. Now, I may have to put my hand there to hold him there. Then our other one is going to be up here, and we're going to let them slide into each other as I release this one. Ready? Go. Okay, now when we look at the one that slid down, again we don't see any damage, but on this one we see a little bit of damage there. So if we rank that damage on a scale from 0 to 10, I would say that was about maybe a 3 as far as its damage there. Now we're going to take, we're going to get rid of our damaged egg. We're going to get a new one. We need to draw our little face on him again. And he's ready to go. This time, we are doing part three, and we're going to have one egg rolling down from each of the ramps. And hopefully, we'll get them colliding with each other here. That's the goal. I'm going to move these in a little bit. Okay, so here we go. One from each side. Oh, whoops, I forgot in that last part in part two, since one was sitting still, we would say that their speed was different and their direction was also different since one was sitting still and the other was down the ramp. Okay, that was part two. Now we're on to part three. We're releasing them here. And here we go. Whoa, okay, this particular one is a pretty hardy egg, still no damage here, but this one took the worst of it here. <laughs> yeah, so let's say on a scale from one to 10, that's probably about an eight, is what we'll report on the lab report there for that. On this particular one for part three, their speed was the same because they were coming down from the same height, but their direction was different. So that's it for experiment 9.1.